Hi, I'm John Daly. I'm an Indigenous Ranger from Fish River. I'm here to talk to you today about the history of fire and fire as a management tool for looking after our country. I first started with um, my grandparents when they were still around. You know, like As a little toddler, they took us out onto our country, which is right here at the moment. And basically, we walked out onto the country and they taught us about fire and how we use fire and how not to use fire in a bad way. Fire can be used in a bad way, but you know, like fire can be used in a good way. So fire sort of started as a toddler. We got taught how to look after our country with fire and things like that. Fire is also used for certain ceremonies. Fire is used to create smoke, to cleanse you know, the spirit of loved ones that have passed on. But fire is also used as a passage for a young man to become, or a young boy to become a man. So fire is a right to passage to becoming a man. So, you know, that's traditional. Traditionally, fire is used in many varied ways and forms. It's not just used for clearing country and looking after the country. It's used for looking after people and making people right as well. Fire is used as a healing tool, you know, to cleanse loved one's grief when you've lost a loved one and things like that. So fire is used for many, many different things in traditional Aboriginal life.